Hello. So sorry, I'm all red. We just got home. But um, let's see. Oh, Finn, you're gonna climb on a chair? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. So Ellie had her pip rally today, and I'm so proud of her. She did such a good job. Thank you for watching our show. Now we present the data. Congratulations for fourth grade for the highest attendance. I'm gonna go save my son, just a second. Um, I'll just hang out right here. Anyway, so today I made an important life decision again. Um, I, last February, I, Feb I say it how you spell it, February. I always get made fun of because it's February, but it's not, it's February, but whatever. The second month of this year, the day after my birthday, I um, started working out. Now, two weeks in, I got pregnant and didn't realize it. And six weeks after that, I had a miscarriage. What are you doing? Okay. Anyway, six weeks after that, I have a miscarriage, and I didn't realize that I was pregnant until I was having the miscarriage, and it, um, I never really dealt with it, and I didn't even realize that it would affect me because I didn't realize that I was pregnant to begin with, and so I, um, am having to having to recognize those feelings in order to work through those feelings, and that's why I have not been working out. I quit uh, a few months ago. And because it was some, I mean, I came up with a million excuses. Like, um, it was summer, which is like 110 degrees down here. And um, it was not fair to bring the kids out in the sun and the heat every day uh, just so I could go work out. Um, plus, Finn was on a lot of medication that said that he could not go outside. And uh, I just didn't feel like it. So, but... I think the underlying reason is because I never dealt with the miscarriage. And so I, today, started working out again. Um, I took a few months off. I regret that because it was hard. It was super hard. And it sucked. But, whatever. I'm back. And I'm going to start working out again. And hopefully I'll get into regular pants again. That would be nice. It's so embarrassing. Anyway, I'm not really sure what Finn's doing. So, we went to Ellie's pep rally and she did such a good job. And I was going to take her home right after the pep rally, but they were doing it again and I didn't realize how long it was going to be, so I ended up not doing that. So, Finn and I are trying to kill time for the next 10 minutes <laughs> until we go and pick her up. So, we came home and I fed him and so now we're just waiting to go pick her up and we're coming home and we're taking a nap I'm so exhausted from this morning I can't I can barely move like my arms I it was it wasn't arm day or leg day it was mostly arm day with some leg stuff thrown in and it was <sighs> I'm very out of it <laughs> I we were trying to run and trying to do like sit-ups and stuff and I just could not keep up luckily luckily the lady that I train with Michelle she is amazing and she she's just so supportive and her son's there Brian and he is so supportive and so uh, helpful with the kids and they're just really good so more than anything I'm excited to have them back in my life because they're such a positive force and that's gonna be nice and so Anyway, but yeah, I'm tired and my body hurts and I don't think tomorrow, I, it's not true, I know tomorrow is going to be worse than today because I've done this before. I remember how sore you are second day and so I'm kind of worried. But I only work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and sometimes Saturday. So um, at least I get a day off tomorrow but I'm going to regret it. Hey guys, so we're out to dinner with Grammy and Papa and Ellie obviously. Jill and Finn were here, but they have since left because Finn was getting a little fussy. It's past his bedtime really, so he's needing to go home and go to bed. 
So Ellie has since found a nickel. nickel. Pretty impressive, huh? So she now feels like she's the richest person in the world. So she's ready to retire. She said I can go ahead and retire and stop working because she's got me a nickel. So but we're actually at an pack having dinner. We got steak and shrimp. So we're enjoying that. Um, I don't know what all Jill's talked about today. So that's what's always weird about when I get to be on camera is because I don't know what all Jill's talked about and a lot of times she's not there, so I don't know. But Ellie had a presentation at school and she did great right here. And they even improvised and changed her line right before she went on. So she did really good. So we're probably really proud of her for that. So this is kind of almost a dinner to celebrate her doing so good. Ain't that right, Paw Paw? Yes. Yes. So, kind of celebrating her doing good. So, yeah, from her pep rally. And the good thing is, I got my mom now on the lookout for an NES Classics. So, we're gonna hopefully get one. And her new so, stylish look, Grammy's new stylish haircut. I got 134 so. money. 134 monies. I don't know what that equates to, but. This makes 135. So apparently, five cents is equivalent to 135 monies. <laughs> so that's apparently the exchange rate to that. That's a lot. So we'll make do with that. So. The funny Anybody thing is that's worth 135 monies, and she says she has 134 monies, so somehow it's worth less than what the, the coin she's holding is. Hey guys, so last night we forgot to end the vlog, and so here it is, 4 o'clock in the morning. I just finished editing, which wasn't very good, sorry about that. We didn't get as much footage as I thought we did because I forgot the most of what I filmed was the pep rally. So, um... Anyway, whatever. Some days are good, some days are not. That's just like life. Whenever Patrick and Ellie got home from Outback, I was crashed out on the couch. Um, and Finn fell asleep before we even got him in his bed last night, which is weird. If you like today's vlog, or if you just like us as a family, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment. We love talking to you guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.